If you've ever been to a doctor's office or heaven forbid, the emergency room, then chances are they've put an electrocardiogram device on you. ECG or EKG for short, this is those, those probes and those wires that they put on your chest. And many people freak out, but it's a non-invasive, painless way for us to look at your heartbeat and measure just the general health of your heart. It tells us an amazing amount of information. A trained cardiologist, just looking at that ECG, can tell if you have an irregular heartbeat, aka an arrhythmia, the size and position of your heart and your heart chambers. If there's a blockage to your heart vessels, then you can even tell which vessel exactly is being blocked. It's pretty incredible. It's an incredibly nifty device. Now, how does it work? Well, your heart contracts due to muscular contraction. That's controlled by nerve impulses, electrical signals. And those electrical signals are very orderly. They're done in a very orderly pattern. And they have to be because your heart is very coordinated. See, it starts with these cells called pacemaker cells in your sinoatrial node. And it starts there and it spreads through the top chambers, your atrium, and then down to your bottom chambers, your ventricles, via things like your atrioventricular node, your bundle of his, your Purkinje fibers. All anatomical terms, but what you need to know is that those nerve impulses are, are done in a coordinated fashion. Coordinated fashion. And any deviation from that normal coordinated fashion, we can pick up with an electrocardiogram. So it's an amazing device. It takes into account physics, takes into account engineering, takes into account Normal heart physiology. Who came up with this amazing device? Inner Willem Eithoven. Eithoven was a Dutch doctor born in 1860. His father, who was also a doctor, died at a young age and that left a lasting impression on him. He would join medical school following his father's footsteps and he was a gifted student. He was like the LeBron of med school. Now at that time, it was known that the heart was due to electrical impulses and that was coordinated and that if you can measure it, you might be able to tell if there's something wrong with the heart. The problem was instruments at that time were not accurate enough, not sensitive enough. So they weren't very practical. You can make them more sensitive, but that would mean putting electrodes directly into the heart. And that's not very ideal. So Eithoven thought he wanted to improve on these instruments. And that's what he set out to do. And after many years, he would make his first rudimentary EKG using something called a string galvanometer. And this was a device that used a thin conductive string of quartz covered in silver and gold. The string was suspended by strong electromagnets. And when it felt any electrical displacement, it would move. And you can see this on paper. And that was our first rudimentary EKG. He would test this vigorously and analyze the results over more or less a decade. So he would lay the foundation of all these abnormal patterns. He will also make other contributions to the EKG. He will standardize how we label the EKG graph. You might have seen it. Each of each segment has a particular letter designation PQRST. Why did he choose PQRST? Well, you don't get to where you are without making a few mistakes. His first one was using ABCDE and he found out that was incorrect. So he used PQRST the next time and that one is actually correct and that's what stuck. Now the original machine weighed over 600 pounds due to those massive electromagnets. They had to be water cooled. Now thankfully we don't use those anymore. They don't wheel those in when you're in the doctor's office. They've gotten a lot more portable, a lot more convenient. But that string galvanometer was the OG and it's still used to standardize references to dance. And for the invention of the first EKG, William Eithoven was awarded the Nobel Prize in 19. 24. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more in this series, hit subscribe or click here for more of this series. Thanks.